Nigerian government and businesses have been urged to keep an eye on the rising wave of a new variant of populism amongst the youth as it could upend both government and businesses. This call was made during the public presentation of the distillation edition of the periodic report of a public relations and communications consulting firms, Chain Reaction Africa in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikuku Oyodoko tells us more in this report. It is a public presentation of the distillation edition of a periodic report known as the Neuroscience of Nigerian Youth, Trend and Culture, report fittingly themed Aramanda. It is about the rising wave of a new variant of populism amongst the youth. According to the organizers, the rise of this new variant is challenging for governments and businesses all over the world. Chief strategist, Chain Reaction Africa, Israel Okmayemi, believes that the businesses and the present administration must make diligent efforts to study and understand the trend. Why are we tracking trends? Why are we tracking culture? There is a saying that culture will eat strategy for breakfast. No matter how intelligent the people in government are, unless they understand the imagine and the extant cultures within their own jurisdiction, then their policies are bound to fail. Okwayemi explained that the mystic surrounding behavioral evolution within the youth's population can be perplexing unless intentionally studied and understood by those responsible for policy and business decision making in government and the side of businesses. Of the trends we've discussed in there today has been the Afrivas, which has to do with the rising sentiment, the rising consciousness, the Afrocentric, you know, sentiment amongst you know Nigerian youth. And examples were given that even government, even in naming your policies, even in naming your programs, name them in such a way that the Nigerian youth can hone them, can feel that this belongs to us. Not giving policies foreign names. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Benga Omotosho, and his counterpart from the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, Mobolaji Ogunledi, who represented the Lagos State Governor and his deputy, affirmed the importance of the youth population in the society. For us in government, it's a very big lesson that we need to find a way to... Uh, the kind of language that we used to talk to our young people, we need to find ourselves in their space so that whatever they, we need to do for us to improve as a, a government, as a community of people who understand what the future means to young people, that we need to do it. It's all about engagement. Engagement in the sense that um, when they come, when the youth come out to protest or, or rise to an occasion, it's all, they are fighting for justice, uh, they are, we are fighting for, uh, for our voices to be heard. So we just need to ensure that the people who are supposed to hear are hearing, right, and they are acting on it. They have to be proactive instead of reactive. They, however, cautions the Gen Z not to jettison the old in the craze for metaverse and preoccupation with the realm of alternate reality. My advice is that our young people should try to have a marriage of the old and the new. Because in the old you find wisdom, in the old you find uh, uh, self-regulation, uh, apart from what's... As different from what people see now as a license for attitude of I can do whatever I, can, I like. The distillation edition of the report focused on five other key trends, namely Afriverse, which captures the rise of Afrocentric consciousness amongst Nigerian youth and Ego Beta, among others. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.